A couple days ago we towed the trailer out from its hibernation spot just back here behind the garage. And as I was bringing it up here and went to uh, jack it off the hitch of the truck, I felt something uh, let go inside the, uh, the crank on the, on the tongue jack. And although I was able to kind of put some pressure on it and every few turns I could get a few teeth to catch and I was able to get it up off the jack so I could get the truck away, um, but clearly that uh, tongue jack it needs to be replaced. So that's what we're going to do today. Bear in mind, I am no professional. I've never done this before. Uh, but hopefully if I can do this, it'll give somebody else confidence that they can do it as well. Just be extra, extra careful. And it should be fine. I don't think this is going to be too hard of a job. Uh, one thing we did though is uh, we decided if we're going to upgrade it anyway, we're going to upgrade to a electric jack. So that'll be nice. Um, anyway, I hope this video was helpful to people and uh, let's get started. So the first thing we did to get ready to do this was pull the slide in in and make sure the trailer was level. And then we uh, chalked the wheels up. Uh, in this case, we're using the X-chalk and the uh, Camco wheel chalks just to be extra safe to make sure that uh, once the trailer is off the, uh, off the pin, off the tongue jack, that there's no way it can go anywhere. So that's step one. And up here you can see that we, uh, we put the trailer up on a couple of axle stands uh, make sure they're heavy enough to handle the tongue weight of the trailer in this case we've got two uh, 7,000 pound axle stands on each side of the a-frame which should be more than enough to hold it in place and we removed the propane tank and cover so we'd have more room to work in here and we took the cover off of the battery because we're going to need to get into the positive terminal on that to hook up the electric jack so the first step is to uh, remove the the old tongue jack and it looks like it's just held on by three bolts so I've got a 9 16 inch socket on a uh, battery powered uh, torque wrench and let's, uh, let's give that a try All right, now with the uh, old one off, we're just gonna slide the new one right back in. There we go. Oh, awesome. The holes line up perfect. Put the bolts in uh, that came with the new jack. By the way, this is a uh, power tongue jack made by Lippert. It's a 35 pound or 3,500 pound tongue jack. It doesn't look like anything special as far as jacks go. It has a light on and off, and just an extend and retract button. And we'll snug them up. Okay, I'm just going to give these a little snug with the breaker bar here to make sure they're good and tight. All right. Okay, so it looks like the only thing left then is to wire this into the battery. So I'll get rid of these tie clamps.
Now there's only a one wire on these. Uh, and this goes to the positive on the battery. And the reason there's only one is it's grounded itself through the frame. So it looks like they give you lots of wire. My battery's not too far away. So likely what I'm going to do. Actually, that's going to be just about right. I'll put a... Uh, I'm going to crimp an end on the end, put it on the positive terminal, and then I'll use tie wrap to secure it to the frame. So I'm going to take care of that and I'll show you what that looks like when it's all done. Okay, it's all wired in now. Um, it's going to be kind of hard to show on video how we did this, but uh, I think you'll get the idea. So the red uh, power line comes out of the, uh, the jack head. And what I did is I took it down and I took it all along the inside of the uh, rail and use tie wraps to hold it in place. I'll see if I can get a shot over here, but it is a little tough to see. But you can kind of get the idea here. All right, and then it's run down in there, and then run down in there. And then I crimped an end on to the wire. Uh, the kit doesn't come with that, so uh, if this is the way you plan on hooking up, just be aware you're gonna need uh, the copper end to crimp onto the end of the wire. And then I just attached it to the positive battery terminal I have given it a quick test. Uh, it seems to work, but I guess the next step is to uh, put everything back together and try it out for the first time. Okay, that's it. So the only thing left is to try her out. Let's see if we can uh, lift it up off the uh, jack stands. It's pretty slow, uh, but it's not too loud. There we are. <laughs> A little higher. And let's just bring it back down to level it. And there we are, leveled. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this or uh, to see any of our travel videos, you can find us at Traveling Maritimers on YouTube. We also have Facebook and Instagram. Uh, we have a website at travelingmaritimers.ca. We'd love to get your feedback. And until next time, thanks again.